day, baby. We're gonna be here all day. We're gonna be here all day, baby. I like this kind of party. I like this kind of party, baby. All right. Bring it, baby. Yeah, 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 it's your boy, High Speed 30, and I got my man, Maddie Ice, and this is our new show, Dynasty Primetime. What up, Matt? What up, H Speed? Good to be here, man. Good to be back in Dynasty. Let's get into it. Okay. Look, this is Dynasty Primetime. It's a new show. It's a hard-hitting show. Basically, we're just going to update y'all on what happened throughout the week of Dynasty, everything that's pertaining to Dynasty, whether it be scores, upsets, rivalries, and when the playoffs come up, all them playoff scenarios, everything that's going on in Dynasty. Yeah, let's go. Let's get into it. You know, we got week one, week two, week four, and uh, the league's moving along nicely, and uh Couple upsets, a couple upset games, a couple surprise users with with nice records. Okay, so, man, how you how you how you feel about uh, about Dynasty so far um, this this twenty twenty one season? You know what? I'm getting I'm getting more comfortable um, with the, with you know with as far as users, as far as my squad. See, I I, I took over a squad with a. With a hard roster, but I made some moves with the cap space, and I, I got a couple free agents. I'm feeling good, to be honest. I'm getting there, coming along. I bet, bet. Let me give the users a disclaimer about our show. This is a, a unfiltered show. We a hard hitting show. We bringing it, baby. Just like my man Singletary said, we gonna bring it, and we gonna bring it unfiltered. We gonna bring it hard. So. Please don't get in your feelings. Don't get all butt hurt about something we said about your team or, you know, about you. Because it's nothing personal. It's our opinions and it's our show. Yes, sir. I haven't said that. The first topic of discussion is that having a dynasty that was a big thing to me was the state of dynasty video that Dion put out, the commish. Big ups to the commish. Yeah, man, he puts in a lot of work, like... This is a hobby for a lot of us, you know. We all got a life. Uh, some people outside of Madden like to skateboard, do whatever, play basketball. We like to play Madden. And when we're going to play Madden, why not do it right? And exactly. Dion, Dion brings it. brings it. You know what I mean? He, he puts in a lot of work. Shout out to the commission, man. Straight up. All right, so look. The commission put out a video, State of Dynasty. And, it, hey, it was a keep it real uh, video about Dynasty going forward and the vision that he has for Dynasty. What did you yeah. think about the video? Yeah, you know, um, the, the video, you know, I, I'm familiar with the league. I know this is, I'm, I'm fairly new to a lot of you guys, but um, I, I've been in the D League for a little bit. I enjoyed playing ball there, but I knew where, I knew where the big leagues were. I, I, I knew, uh, I knew I wanted to get back here because I was here before, but to be honest with you, I, I was immature. I had no balance in my life, in my Madden life, and, uh, you know, my Madden hobby, and uh, I wasn't ready. I, I came in, I looked at the roster, the cap was all messed up, kind of like my situation now. Bad record, all that. But I wasn't ready, and I, I left on a bad note, and I apologize to my man SJ. Shout out to SJ, shout out to Chris Murray, shout out to Dion for giving me another shot. They, had, they knew I had potential. Uh, I seen it open, and I took it. But, you know, you got to put in work to be here. He, he said it. It's not, it's not hard. You know, you see people in the chat, you know, you see people here buying shirts, and that's great. But... He don't care about records, you know. He don't care about Super Bowls. You gotta put in work. Why not? Exactly. Why not contribute? Why not contribute? It's a community. Exactly. I you? mean, I mean, you know, the, the video and 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 to be honest, uh, my take on on it is that this is a like a brotherhood. We we come out here, we play the games. Yes, sir. And um, but it's more to it than just playing the games. And, and Dion had a vision, and um. He definitely um, put it out there in the State of the Dynasty video. I got a clip from the video. Here's Dion. But just not doing anything, it's not going to work. Like I said, mm. I don't care how many Super Bowls you are going here. I don't care how many division titles. I don't care about any of that. It's either you want to get or I'm, I'm going to give you the boot. Just that something. So I'm, I'm going to move off of that and I'm 
It's just that simple. That was a powerful statement from the commish. And I want to talk about, you know, like I said, it's a hard hitting show for us. I want to talk about um, the specific users that we were that we were talking about. And to me, the one who won all the Super Bowls has been hot tub. And to me, that was a message clear to him. And to his credit, he stepped up to the plate. Yeah, um, I, I can't. I joined a couple about two weeks. I've been here for a little bit, and uh, you know, you hear names, you hear top dogs, you hear top cars, uh, you hear top KP. I've been balling KP from that. I heard Hot Tub. I heard King Vitamin. Never played them. Haven't really got a chance to watch the games because I, I go to bed early. But uh, you know, you hear about these guys, and I don't really see them in the chat too much. I don't really know. You know, I, I came in the chat. I got to know you, and um, I haven't really seen much on the website, much on Twitter. But uh, recently, you know, I have seen Hot Tub contribute to the financial situation and uh, write a nice, nice article, man. And uh, you know, shout out to them. But there's also a couple users who I still don't know who I, I even tried to hit up in the off season, and uh, you know, we'll get into that too. Absolutely, but that's what it's about. And I, like I said, I want to shout out to Hat Tub for um, stepping up to the plate. Uh, he made a donation of twenty dollars uh, this week. Also, he uh, wrote that great article that I read concerning his team. And that's really all it takes. And, and he and Dion's not just talking to Hat Tub, but I felt like on that video, that specific video, I felt like he was sending a message to Hat Tub, and it felt I feel like Hat Tub got that message, and the Broncos got that message loud and clear because i would have hate to have lost him you know um yeah based off of uh, not participating because he's a, definitely a great user yeah he's competition you don't want to leave with, with with no competition that, it doesn't thrive you to get better yeah because i would have hate to had to beat him this year and then he get the boot next year that just would have left a bad taste in my mouth because i'm definitely coming for hat tub he's the he's the three-time super bowl winner and I would have hate to had to just beat him and then Dion give him the boot. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah, because then you know, no comp like I said. But you know, hey, also so big, a, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, so big ups to Hot Tub, and uh, uh, that's definitely a, a message to all, all the rest of the users who whose participation is not up to par. If you got to ask, uh, am I doing enough? Or you know, what I mean, if you got to ask, then you're probably not doing enough. I mean, it it don't take anything to write an article. That's just effort. It don't take anything to, you know, update about the team or jump on the show. Because uh, this show, we probably going to um, reach out to some of the users to profile your team. And if we, pro we, if we reach out to you to come on the show for the interview to profile your team, then take that as an opportunity to, uh, you know, do something big in Dynasty. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. All right. Let's, let's move it on. Having said that. Um, next topic is what went on in Dynasty throughout the week. Let's, let's talk about it, man. Let's get it. Upset, upset, upsets. We had a lot of upsets this week. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about we having week one, Matt. Yeah, week one. Um, I have a couple upsets I, I'm looking at, and um, week one, <laughs> you see the first one you just stands out. You know, the Colts user, he was away, a CPU. Um, Made some bad moves, man. He didn't trade away that pick, you know. You know and we, that was discussed. I went around, but we're not gonna talk about that. So our man Butters, the last Mohican, as they call him, Mister Sim Game, he goes and puts it plays. I don't mess with the CPU on all Madden. All right, I see something. I know you want your XP, but he goes and gets. Oh man, twenty four to three. Point. That's all we need to talk about. It's twenty four to three. Got punished by the computer. Twenty four to three. Jets thought he probably had an easy victory. Mm -hmm. I know he wish he would have took the fourth win, but that's our first upset. The computer beat the division champions, the Jets, in, in week one. Yeah, that shit is crazy. That shit is, you could have just took the fourth. Now, the second the second biggest upset I seen, well, of week one, it was quite a few, but I seen that 49ers game, uh, 49ers beating the Seahawks. Beating Tone and the Seahawks twenty-one to sixteen. That was definitely a big surprise to me in the NFC. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I see you, you, you see, you hear about. Um, obviously, everybody wants. Let's be real. Everybody wants to trade. I knew about to be for. I knew about the Niners user before I was even in the league. And uh, everybody wants his picks. 
So, you know, but, you know, any given Sunday, man, like any given Sunday. Well, so, so let see, me ask you, what did you, what did you know and what did you hear about um, my man, the Niners user, my man, Ric Flair? <laughs> What'd you hear about? El Guapo. Well, you know, I, I, I've been plugged in, man. I, I, I got a couple people who I, I've really, I've been balling with. Uh, shout out to KP. You know, I've been balling with KP for a little while now. And, you know, he always updates me on the moves, man. What's going on? You know, that's why I want to come back. And, uh, you know, he said he made a trade. Uh, he had the first overall pick. I was even in the league. I seen his moves. And that's why I knew he knows we know this place is going somewhere. You know what I'm saying? We know this league ain't got to fold like all the other leagues. So he's making moves for the future. And I said, I got to get back here. I'm wasting my time with these other leagues. Exactly. You see the vision. You know what exactly. I mean? Hey, but the 49ers did pick up a win against Tone and them Seahawks in, in week one. Yeah, he ain't sweet. Can't take no one sweet up in here, man. It's a simple and plain. Yeah, but I seen he gave $170 to the quarterback, to the boy Lacey. The boy went and backed up the Brinks truck right at uh, right at the 49ers, and El Guapo gave him all the Guapo. He said, uh, I seen that, and I, I, he popped in the chat and said, no one believes me, it wasn't him. You know, you know, it. it you can't call it. He said it wasn't him. Well, I, I tell you what, it's definitely him now because it's it's a done deal. Moving on. Move on. All right. So I seen that another mild upset in week one. It was the Chargers versus the Bengals. It was kind of a mild upset. Um, the Bengals is a good user. The Bengals made the playoffs. The Chargers didn't, and the Chargers um, won that game sixteen to seven. And he won it off of a, I think it was a defensive pick six that uh, sealed the game for him. I didn't catch that game, but I did catch that score. And, you know, you hear things. You hear darkness. You know, you hear darkness is a top defensive dog around here. And uh, I had that as an upset, too. Now, I never seen either of them play. I think I might have caught some of that line Spangles game. I never seen any of them play. But, you know, I never really – you know, Breezy, um, uh, he wasn't put on a pedestal like these other guys. So, that's definitely Absol upset. Absolutely. Going into week two, what, what upsets did we, did we have? Week two. Oh, let's get into it. Week two was a big week in the dynasty. Big week, man. You know, um, I had a couple upsets here. And uh, we're going to start off with our boy, Expert. Whew. I haven't heard about Expert when I entered the dynasty, but he's been making some noise since I've been back. Absolutely. He, he was in the Super Bowl. He Yeah, and he, continue, he lost, but, you know, he comes out on week two and he shuts top Garza out 36 okay we, okay let's stop right there we can't call him top guards no more out of respect mm. my man Gil yeah. God said you don't want to be called top guards until he wins a bowl so we're just gonna say he beat Gil guards and and it's not that he beat him it's that just the the way that he beat him in the score it was 36 to a uh as I call it, a crispy cream and, <laughs> and uh <laughs> It was surprising, but that definitely and, and and it's not that it's an upset the expert won the game, but it's the fashion in which he won it. To me, that's that's more surprising than anything. Yeah, absolutely. Um, zero points is hard, you know. That's that's rough. It's hard, yeah. but the, your boy, your boy Gil Garza came back with a couple nice victories after that. So as you should. Moving on, we had the Chargers beating the Browns and and. After the Chargers, after Breezy won this game, I seen him in the chat. He was gloating and excited and happy and cheesing that he had beat the Browns. He was excited, rightfully so. Congratulations to your boy Breezy. Yeah, for yeah, winning um, the game. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's he. He's one. That's, that's two and zero. Oh. And um, I had, like I said, I haven't seen him play. I've heard about King White. He was in the Super Bowl versus my man KP. I caught that game. Again, I wasn't in the league, and uh, he caught my eye. He, you know, he he, he did me dirty with the screenshots. I, I, I don't like that. I don't like when we talk in the, in the DM and you post in the chat. It, not even that. He was texting me. I'm talking about texting me like he knew me. So still not earn my respect because you can win any game. You know, I had no respect for the dude, but you know, big win for him. So absolutely, big win for him. But you know, breezy is breezy. You know what I mean? He 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 gets on the chat. He's he's active, and um. You know, he is what he is. And he's had some, matter of fact, out of the upsets throughout this year so far, I would say that Breezy has been um, the user that's that's actually had, had a great start so far. 
Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, for I think I think he's three and one, and he lost that game to uh, Chris Murray. To my man Chris. I think he lost to Chris in the Raiders. The Raiders got a squad. Boy, I looked at that, that roster. Crazy, that was, but that was a crazy, crazy game because they had. I, I was watching the game live, and I think Breezy's connection went out, and he was down twenty-eight to twenty. And he was at the fifty-yard line, so they get in the chat. They was like, they don't know if they're gonna play it again. They don't know if they're going to restart the game. But I think we got some more clarity on that actual rule. I yeah, know that. I, Go ahead. Yeah, I'm familiar with that rule. And uh, the rules does say they should have restarted. Now, see, I I, I, I don't feel breezy. If you got, if anybody has a bad connection, start, and you have it throughout the whole game, you got. I'm saying something for the first two drives. If I feel any lag, goes away, comes back, yo, we got to restart now. Don't get deep into it. He never need deep, weren't they? I didn't get, like I said, I was sleeping. I woke up. And I, third quarter. It was third quarter yeah, of that game. Nah. And, um, you know, to me, I feel like if you knew your connection was was a little shaky, like you said, you should have said something before halftime and said, hey, um, we might have to restart this game. I need to get to a spot where I got a better connection or I need to do something because to get into the third quarter and then it cuts off and then you have a lot of controversy, we could have avoided all that. But they end up... Um, I believe they replayed the game and Chris won it. Yeah, yeah. That's why I woke up early that day and I did see that. I seen a lot of back and forth and uh the Raider better team won. Raiders got a squad, man. He had a bad I, I see he had a bad lyric last year, but he, he got the roster. Chris is a good uh, user, man. He's he definitely is. a good user. He's just had some bad uh mad and karma the last year, I would say. Mm-hmm. Um we got two more upsets on, on the on the docket that I seen. I seen uh, your man Butters Jets. They got an upset victory against the Jags. Did you catch that game? Nah, man. See, I think that was another. Was that a, it was morning, a morning game? game? It was an early morning game, I think that day. It was, and um, I think it might have been Sun. I don't remember. You know what? I, I had I didn't catch that game, but I caught the score. And, Absolutely. Uh, but I watched the game. Now let me let, let me um, let me tell you about that game. One of the sloppiest games I've ever seen. Let me just be straight up. It was 11 turnovers, I think 11 interceptions in between the two quarterbacks. and uh, But the Jets got the better of it. The Jets would intercept the Jags inside of Jacksonville territory, run a couple plays, and then throw a pick. And then the then when the Jags get the ball, they'll throw a pick to the Jets. And then the Jets threw another pick. I think he almost threw a pick six. And then after that, he, he played more conservative and got the victory. Oh man, yeah. I wish I would have been able to call that game, but because you know what, I I respect Butter. I watched him. I was in the uh, D League with him a while ago. I watched him play. I haven't caught too much gameplay of him in the dynasty, but uh, he. I think he's Mr. Sim Game. I love that nickname. He's Mr. Sim Game himself, point blank. Absolutely. Now the last, the last upset I had upset special of the of the dynasty week was the Cowboys losing to the Chargers. And like you, like I said, the Chargers has gotten off to a uh, pretty good start. And he beat expert 24-3, which was really surprising to me. I watched that game. The score, the game was closer than the score indicated because the Cowboys were driving and uh, looking to tie the game up 10-10. to And the Chargers ended up getting an interception. And they basically sealed the deal from there. Yeah, they played that after your uh, your commentary game, correct? Right, we had that. Oh, big shout out to the uh, live commentary that we had. Yeah. We had a, a live commentary game, as you all know. It was the uh, Browns visiting the Kansas City Chiefs. The game was um, a blowout, so it, it kind of, uh, you know, me and Expert, we, we did the game, and it was a great game that we did. But the game was just a snoozer based off of the gameplay. It was just a thirty-four nothing, uh, as I say, thirty-four Krispy Kreme. Uh, Dunkin' Donuts special, <laughs> and, and it just. <laughs> but we did the best we can because what we what we plan on doing is um, live broadcasting the Super Bowl. Now, yeah, I love it. I love now, it. Now, let's go. Let's go. Let, let, let me preface that by saying, um, high speed plans on being in the Super Bowl, so I might not be able to commentate that game. Okay, and expert plans on being in the Super Bowl as well, but that was just a test run, so. Maybe we can get somebody else, some another user, <laughs> who uh, who don't plan on being in the Super Bowl to actually commentate that game. 
No doubt. No doubt. All I right. think that, that won't be a problem. Hey, but listen, I think we have. Uh, I want to talk about one more game that we missed that um, I okay. have. Okay. Okay. Week two in the dynasty. Um, I, I'm HBO, Mister, uh, Mister you know, Steelers. But, 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 HBO the Steelers. <laughs> That's your man. That's a but but but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mister um, Slotneck, as my man SJ calls him. Anyway. He, uh, he got a win. He got a win over Darkness in the Bengals, 24-17. And that was surprising as well. That was surprising. But see, to me, that was a mild surprise because it's an in-division game, mm -hmm. and he beat him. But going forward, HB got a big problem because his quarterback is out for the year. Um, yeah, I see I, he's, um, he's, he's, he's in trade talks. The quarterback out for the year, listen, it is crucial. I lost Jack mine for Goff. four weeks. Jack Goff is done for the season. Yeah, I lost mine. Yeah, I seen that twenty weeks done. I lost mine, and let me tell you something. I underplayed it. I'm like, I got Cody Kessler. He can throw short. He had, I think, five or six turnovers. I just got annihilated. Now, see, the score looked worse. My man, shout oh, to my man you KP. Played your game. Yeah, I did. I played my game. Shout out to my man KP. Always great one, but uh, Cody Kessler was throwing, overthrowing everybody on a, on a route. And it, you know it is what it is. So um, the score looked bad. The game could have been closer, but the backup QB, the QB is is important. You need a, a QB on deck because when they go down, your whole game plan is out the window. That's so why it's definitely um, you definitely got to have a great backup or a backup plan in case your quarterback do go down. And HB didn't have a backup plan. He got a rookie, 57 rated uh, quarterback. But like you said earlier, I heard in the chat that he was in trade talks. Um, the scuttlebutt is that he's, um, you know, close to a deal to, that will bring him Derek Carr. Now that would definitely be a nice piece if he can, if he can pull it off. Yo, listen, that would be. You know why? Because I was about, I was going for Derek Carr. I was before um, I had made my last trade. So um, that he needs to do that. He needs to handle that. Don't I wouldn't get no other position. But a 57 over. I see him talking about a running back too. Um, that was posted earlier for trade. Gotta go for the quarterback. You know, I think he'll make the smart decision. Absolutely. Now let me just briefly go over some of the big injuries that that happened in the dynasty over Ooh. the past. The biggest injury for me that I seen um, was OC McMichael from the Denver Broncos. This dude was AFC <laughs> Offensive Player of the Year. The dude almost won the MVP over my guy, uh, Harris Buckner. And he went out with, for, with uh, I believe, a shoulder tear. And I think it's six weeks. Four to six, yeah, I've seen that. And you know what? Um, see, as, as as crucial as that sounds, all right, we got a, a superstar wide receiver. But we also got a great user. And Absolutely. That makes a difference. He, he's going to find his ways just to get around that. It, it, thank goodness it happened early in the season. Um, so I, 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 that injury, you know, is crucial. But I think that he'll be okay, and I think that he'll continue to win his games and continue his hot streak after that Super Bowl win. Absolutely. The hot the, one of the other big injuries I seen besides the Jared Goff, which we already talked about, was um, the Buffalo Bills. They lost their second overall pick, that monster cornerback Hoover. I think he's yeah. out for maybe four weeks as well. Four weeks. Yeah. Now, say that's a rookie. Um, Shouts to Farquaad, man. That's my man. You know, he always gives me pointers. And uh, that cornerback, that corner, I had I had my eyes on him before Farquaad traded up. I actually tried to acquire that pick. And, uh, you know, I know that that isn't the piece I'm just looking for right now. So when I, I seen that he was going for it, I backed off. He had more firepower. He's out for four weeks. Um... I think that, again, Farquad defense, he has, a, he has a vicious front seven, I'm pretty sure. I think that he'll be okay four weeks. You don't want to lose a, a star rookie. Exactly. Be because okay. of development. You want to try to develop him. Man. Exactly. And him missing that time, you're not going to pick up that extra XP that you would normally. Yeah, man. You need that XP. You need it. And you, you, when you get hurt, it, it ruins your game plan because now you got to – it puts your it puts your development on a back burner. It takes longer than you expect. All right, Matt. Let's just go ahead and move on. And what I want to move on to is the Daddy League's power rankings for the week. 
Now, Let's go. the power rankings don't reflect the games that happen in week four. So they might have to be adjusted. Let's just go over what we got. Let's let's, let's go. Yeah, let's right. talk. Let's go. They got number ten, the Arizona Cardinals. S J and them Cardinals is at number ten. Yo, I like S J and them Cardinals. I love S J's game, man. You know why? Because look, S J to me, he's an OG. He does this. He's for the culture. He put me on, man. I, I shout out to S J. Maj, you already know. We've been doing this for a little bit. Um, I love S J because he'll 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 throw that bomb on you. And you ain't he got some fast fast receivers. He got yes. some fast, speedy receivers uh, over there in Arizona. And I actually made a trade with him. He, hey, he was in my inbox trying to get this guy, Derek Barnett, since, like, the all season. And I was putting it off, and I was putting it off, and we finally made um, made that deal happen. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. That's, that's a good move. That's a great move. Um, Next on the list, we got number nine, the Seattle Seahawks in tone, the commish. They number nine. And they're in the same division as SJ, so they fighting it out. No division is sweet, man. I, I, every division goes hard. Um, shout out to Tone. Um, Seahawks. I'm not. I'm they not lost lying. that one game to the 49ers, but since then, I think they've they've won the let the next two games. So they definitely righted the ship. They didn't let that one loss. Uh, you know, stop the party. They just keep keep moving, and and that's why they keep number moving, nine on man. the list. Gotta keep moving. Gotta keep moving. Shout out to Tony, man. Shout out to All right, Seahawks. number eight. Number eight on the list. We got the New York Football Giants and Sparrow. Now, see, Sparrow is one of them dudes I heard about when I got here. And um, so, so what'd you hear? I heard he was a top dog. I, you know, I haven't played him. I think I watched. I think I watched that Eagles game. That was a good game between uh, him and the Eagles. I think right. that was Donut. a three-point game. Donut had a chance to win that. And uh, again, them division games, man, because you know you don't hear much about Donut and you hear much about Spiro, and that was a close one. And uh, he just put OBJ on the block a couple of days ago. Odell Beckham. Oh, he put Odell Beckham on the block. I don't. I don't think it got a lot of attention, but you know, I was in his inbox talking. About, I don't got no trades left till at the Super Bowl. But I'll add on to it if you're willing to hold on to injuries or not. Absolutely. That's definitely a... a That's def- my type of boy right there, route runner. Now, number seven on the list, we got your boy, the Raiders. My man, Chris Murray, with the Raiders, is, is ranked number seven in the daddy's power ranking list. Okay, okay. Chris Murray. Um, them Raiders, like I said, I like that roster. I think they're, they're capable of a lot. They're capable of a lot. I know he's in that division with the Chargers and Hot Tub. Um, I like that roster. He's capable, man. He got that rookie QB that ah oh, passed on. It is what it is. But he got him. He got two QBs. He got that linebacker. He got Jalen Ramsey. He got still out. Max getting old, but Max is still calls noise in the backfield. Shout out to the Raiders, man. I, I like that roster. And Chris Murray got the user skills to do it. He's nice on the offensive side of the ball, man. Absolutely. He, he hey, he'll cause nightmares for your defensive backfield. I mean, he yeah. he got some. Uh, he definitely got skills as a. Uh, as a passing uh, user, I- I've watched these games and I was very impressed. Um, number, I think we had number six, and number six on the list was the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, oh. Daddy's League had him as number six, but I watched that game. Uh, I watched that game and I commentated that game um, with expert, and I wouldn't put him in the top ten based off of based off of what I seen. Um, 34 to it was like I said 34 to a Dunkin Donut and uh, it just wasn't a good look so they got him at number 6 right here on the on the daddy's power ranking list but like I said it hasn't been updated yeah um, again another user I haven't heard much about uh, I heard don't sleep on him uh, I think I want to total access to shows so absolutely he's two and two. I mean he took a bad loss but he's still two and two, and he can always write the ship. You just can't let one loss uh, mess your whole season up. You know what I mean? No, not at all. Who we got? Number next? five on the list, your boy KP and them Detroit Lions. And I got a feeling that after this week, he's probably going to move up on that list because he's four and zero, and he just beat your Packers, who's who's actually ahead of him on the list, and the Packers are number four. So I'm now pretty sure he's going to move up on the list. All right, KP, 
Lions. My, my, that's my boy. That's my man. Shout out to you, KP. He knows that. Ah, they're way higher than that. He, he, his defense, his user skill, his read on the defense. Now, I played him. I just played him a couple times in the last couple of weeks. User defense, vicious. The whole league knows it. You seen what he did with Spain. I've I seen him do it with other players and, and multiple times. Uh, he should be higher. Shout out. He did destroy me. Like I said, the score could have been closer if it wasn't for Kessler. But uh, he, his team's built. You know, mine's still in the works. So uh, shout out to them lines. They should be. They should be higher than that. Let's go. Okay, you was in number four, so I'm pretty sure you probably might drop down. But I still think you'll be inside the top ten. Uh yeah, hey. you know we working. You know, we three gotta, one, right? We three and one. We just lost our first game. One of the games I really don't count. I was a sim game, a uh, forced loss, or so a rule violation. To my man Addy and the Bears, shout out to him. But uh, we we'll take the fours. I ain't playing no CPU. So yeah, I'm three and one. You know, sloppy couple Number sloppy three. games. So let's go. Number three on the list, we got them Tennessee Titans three and zero. We got my man. Hey, my man Harris Buckner got like four, like five hundred seventy some yards, eleven touchdowns. It's been it's been ridiculous so far um, this year. He had an MVP season last year, yeah. and I think he's basically confirming that uh, he's a he's definitely an MVP candidate again this year. He's going for the back to back, you know, um, Buckner and that line, and you know, most important, the user. Shouts to H Speed. You got it. Listen, listen. You got to have skill to run the ball the way you do. I watched you, and uh, you got to have that cutback motion. You got to have that vision of when to cut back and what blocks being picked up and what's not. And you know, you, you got it all. You know, you got top run game. I've seen in Madden for a long time. That's special. Your run game is special, bro. Shut out. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. You already. Know. But we still got a lot of work to do. Um, and, Ultimately, we want to be number one on the list. So, moving forward, number two on the list is Hot Tub and the Broncos. Um, Hot Tub. I'm pretty sure after this week, he's probably going to move up since the Cowboys lost, and they're number one team on the list. So, I'm pretty sure that he's going to move up. Um, what know, can you say? There's nothing you can say about Hot Tub. Yeah, he's 4 0 right now. Um, coming off a Super Bowl win, he's number one ranked. That's Daddy Lee's, you know. I like I like it. Um, I like Hot Tub how he's he's working, man. He's putting in work. He got a dynasty inside the dynasty. I heard it said before, and shout out to him, man. Four and zero. Let's go. Absolutely. Now that's the Daddy League's power list. Now, moving on, we got our two legit or need to quit segment. And we, this is a segment where we're just going to pick five teams that we're going <laughs> to dissect and see if they legit or if they need to quit and start over and blow their whole team up. Okay, that's a lot of work. Oh, bet. Okay, so the first team I have on the two legit or need to quit list, them San Diego Chargers. What do you think? Would you say legit or need to quit? I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to keep it 100 Division is way too tough. He, he's feeling himself. You see him. You see him. He keeps posting that safety. He keeps posting that safety, and I don't like it because you know what? That safety is not going to win him a Super Bowl. That safety will not win him that division. So straight up, he just lost the division. His first loss was came from the Raiders, from, from that Raiders team. Absolutely. Division. You know, I started off three and one, but I know damn well I got a long road ahead of me. Um. And I don't think he feels the same way I feel. And uh, he could come down off that playoff. He, he need to quit. He need to chill out. Chill the hell out, bro. Shout out okay, to you, so you're going you gonna to put him down his need to quit. Okay. Now, originally, I, hey, originally, I was going to put him down his need to quit. Okay. Then I watched him play uh, expert and beat him. And I was impressed. He won the game. So, I'm going to say that the San Diego Chargers is legit right now. Um, mm, that's surprising to me, boy. Now, by the end of the year, it, 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 it can change. This is a week to week. Don't get too excited because next week you might be on my need to quit list because it depends on what we see. But right now, the San Diego Chargers is legit. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's keep it moving. Back. Shout, the out next, <laughs> shout out to my man Breezy. 
<laughs> the next team on the list is them Detroit Lions, KP, 4 no. Are they legit or do they need to quit? No, they are legit. The boy is legit. His roster is built. He's ready. Uh, he is. I'm telling you, man. He's focused too. I t- I talked to him. He's focused. His he got plans for that 2024, man. He's scary. He's scary. I'm telling you, his team is ready. He got he got backups. He got replacements for these old cats that want contracts. He's ready. Let's go. He's legit. Hey, the, the, the man time. just won the Super Bowl um in the 2020 uh, season, I believe, or the 2019 season it was. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna say this is a bounce back year for him right now. Yeah, I'm gonna say bad year. he okay. is legit. Yes, let's go. No time. Let's go. New York Jets butters, Mister lost to the computer, but <sighs> come back beat the Jags. It's a tough one. What do you think? Is he legit, or do he need to quit? <sighs> Man, he won that division last year, right? That, that Absolutely. Year. Butters, you know, it, 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 consistency is a big thing. Right now, you gotta be consistent. And uh, he did beat them. Jag and Jags has got a damn roster. The Jags got a roster too. And uh, I think Butters was legit. I think he's gonna bounce back. I think he's gonna be uh, stable. I think he knows where he messed up at, and that's why he, he knows when he lost that game, he went quiet. And uh, he popped up out the blue because he knows what he, he did. And uh, I think he's gonna be. I think he's legit. Let's go. Legit. Okay, well, for me, the Jets. Right now, it's it's hard to it's hard to you know it's hard to place them where they at now. It's all about the playoffs for the Jets. They think they made the playoffs the last couple of years. They won the division the last couple of years. So based off of that and what I've seen so far this year, I'm gonna say need to quit. Oh, okay. So, Let's go. And what I mean by that, he's legit. Don't get me wrong. He's won the division a couple of times. But I think he just needs to add some extra pieces to get over the hump in the yeah, playoff. Yeah, he paid Bortles and then drafted a QB. I didn't have a great draft, so I'm not going to speak much on it. Uh, hopefully it works out for him. He got the tight end early. He should have. Oh, man. Tight end early was really confusing. But uh, let's go. Let's move, let's move it. Shout out to you, Butters. All right. Now, my next team on the list, the Buffalo Bills. Is they legit, or do they need to quit? Um, the Bills. Farquhar, shout out to my man Farquhar. Bills, um, I think he, you know, right now he's not legit. Okay, I think that he is looking at the long run. I think he has plans, like like a lot of people do. He has a nice little roster. He's coming off a loss to the Texans. I like the Texans. The date is my homie. Um, you know he he's in a tough division with you at the top and the Jags, but uh, he's coming off a lot of hype was leading up to that Texans and uh, Bills game, and um, my man Dade came away with the win, and um, I think the Bills is also building for the long run. Right now, I'm going to call him. He need to quit. This season ain't for him, man. Shout out to I you, got man. you. Hey, shout out to my man Farquhar. Now. I played the Bills in week two. He was all ready and amped up to stop Buckner. <laughs> and uh, it didn't happen the way that he envisioned it. It's uh-huh. kind of like that quote Mike Tyson said. And then this goes out to everybody. I hope everybody's listening. Because uh, Mike Tyson said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you my Mike Tyson voice too. This is Mike Tyson. He <laughs> said, uh, hold on, here it go. He said, everybody got a plan. Everybody got a plan until they get punched in the face. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. have Buffalo Bills. Everybody has a plan to stop Buckner in the running game until they get punched in the face. Um, having said that, I think the Bills are legit, and I think by the end of this football season, twenty uh, twenty one season, I think that the Bills might win this division. Um, so I'm gonna say the Bills are legit. I know he lost to the Texans. I know he's one and two, but I think he'll get it together, and I think the. Last year he had a slow start, and so um, I think the Bills are legit. Okay, okay. Shout out to Farquad. All right, so that that's it for our, our legit or need to quit. We, we'll we'll dive into that on the next next show. Um, now only thing left I have for the show today is users. Please, please, please know the rules. Um, 
we had a couple uh, user penalties from breaking the rules. Um, I think you were um, Addy for the Bears had broke a rule. Yeah, where he I, um, used straight, and um, you end up getting a forced win. Yeah, off I benefited of that. from that. But see, I benefited from that. But myself, um, I, I made a mistake. You know, shout out to the league for understanding. Um, I did make a mistake, and I, I, I switched defense before the snap, which uh. You know, I think it was more of a panic move because I, I read a play wrong and I switched. It is what it is. I, if, I, if I get a penalty, I'm a man. I'm going to take it and keep it moving. Let's go. Absolutely. Um, and the other penalty was handed out was Darkness and them Bengals. They end up going for fourth down um, twice before the fourth quarter. Mm. Only thing I'm saying is that, look, Dion put the rules out for a specific reason. Just read them and, and try to abide by the rules. I see so many times in the chat. Can I go for it on fourth down? You should know the fourth down rules by now. Look, let me let me break it down for you in case you don't know. Um, this is the fourth down rule. You get one free fourth down in the first three quarters of action. And you get a free, or I would say a special team's fake on fourth down. So you can fake punt or fake field goal. But you cannot come out in regular offensive formation twice before the fourth quarter. It's plain and simple. So, from this day forward, I do not want to see in the chat. Can I go for it on fourth down? Please know the rules. It's part of your, you know, it's part of the being inside a dynasty. Just knowing the rules and just playing. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. Any other things on your mind, uh, Matt, that you want to discuss? Um, I think we covered a lot for our first show. I think we, you know, I think we covered a lot, and I think that uh, I'm looking forward to keep going on with this show, man. Let's, let's go. You know, it's so early in the season. There's a lot of season to be played. But I love Matt. I've been playing it for a minute. I'm happy to be here. A good ass league. This is an official league. I'm gonna put in work. I'm gonna stay. Um, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get. Hey, it. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. I appreciate you, Maddie, for jumping on the show with me. Um, I know you hit me up in the D in the DM and we discussed it and we just put the show together. It's a hard hitting show. Like I said, feelings might get hurt. Oh uh, yeah, they gonna like us HB. <laughs> hey, we we coming, we bringing it. Just like Single Trey said, we bringing it hard. Feelings might get hurt, but please, like I said, don't get into your feelings over something we said. Go out, prove it on the field, and just be good, uh, good users and, and, and participate in Dynasty. And uh, hey. I enjoyed the first show. Yes, sir. Let's go. That's your boy, High Speed 30 of the Tennessee Titans. And I got my man, Matty Ice. Hey, we out until the next time. Hey, let's get it. The Dynasty Madden League Network, the worldwide leader in CFM.